and study the outline of her curves. Her skin glistens as she lies prostrate. So delicate, so refined, my mouth bones. I call her a maple brown sugar. Her scent is intoxicating. The attitude she has can get spicy at times, but I can handle the heat. I want to make her a part of everything I partake in. I desire to ingest all of who she is. Who am I speaking of? My girlfriend? The woman of my dreams? No. I'm simply talking about one of the greatest joys of my existence. Bacon. <laughs> The candy of meats. The perfect marriage of pork belly and sodium nitrate. Derived from the German word Baco, this is meat that simply makes people smile. Previously seen as a meager accompaniment to eggs and toast, it has skyrocketed to the top of the proverbial food chain. It comes in many different cuts and form. Side bacon, cottage bacon, jowl bacon, collar bacon, but the most common is the streaky bacon, which are basically those thin, glorious strips of heaven bacon. The best thing that's ever happened to a cheeseburger, what takes an ordinary baked potato to something out of this world? Bacon. The Irish call it a rasher. Canadians call it Canadian bacon. I just simply call it a party in my mouth. It is a tasty blanket for scallops and asparagus. You crush it into tiny fragments and salads all over the world when it joins forces with it. It is the only sound so cool it goes by just three little letters. Bacon. It is constant breaking barriers. The Baconator from Wendy sold 25 million in his first eight weeks. Why? Because it came with six strips of bacon. That's why. Who can resist that? I mean, seriously. Would you eat residue from a cooked steak? How about drippings from a big fish? Of course not. But bacon fat? Not only is it used as a base to make a number of things from gravy to cornbread in the South, I swear, it's used to cure 39 different diseases. Ask my grandma whether it's peppered or deep fried, baked on a pizza, or wrapped on a hot dog. You call it pancetta, or call me when it's frying in a pan. I love it. The only time you will see me turn up my nose in disgust. While I will ever allow prejudice to rise up in my heart. It's when you mention the term turkey bacon, a Jews and zebra, the masses, so you're going to be saying the greatest keep people in darkness and away from the truth. <laughs> its origin is clear. Its message is founded. It is becoming our national meat. But more than that, it's already a national treasure. Bacon, it just makes everything better. <laughs>